Hello everyone and welcome to Lavelia's Coloring. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful summer. So um, I am going to be sharing with you my June completed colorings. I wasn't expecting to do a video for um, my colorings in June because I think I was expecting to not have that much done. But because I colored more than five, I was like, I might as well just go ahead and do a video. So I am going to go ahead and clear off my desk and we will get started. I will see you in a couple seconds. So I'm going to start off with a PDF that I print out from Hannah Lynn's Patreon. And it's from last year's Patreon images. And this one is for June. And it is called Summer Fun. And so for this illustration, I used alcohol markers as a base. I used the Ahuhu brand. And for the pencils, I cannot remember which one I used. But for embellishments, I used Ann Art Glitter Gel Pens. You can see on the lollipop and on June and on the border. Gold Posca for the glasses, the trim of her shirt and for the nuts and then white Posca for their eyes and the glare on the sunglasses and on her hat and yeah and that is it so that is my first coloring that I completed in June this was done like I think the 14th of June so yeah I wasn't even sure if I was going to even get that many done but yeah I was able to get more than five so that is my Hannah Lynn PDF from her Patreon. And I have one more PDF to share. This is an illustration from Destiny Lordson, and it has been a whip for a couple of months. So I'm so happy that I got this one done. It was partially done. I had like the base and her hair and her skin completed. So I just had to do the rest of it. And so I couldn't remember which pencils I used, but for the rest of it, I used uh, Black Widows and Colleen colored pencils. The base is done with Ohuhu brush markers. And then I remember when I was coloring this page in, as I was coloring the bottom part over here, I realized that she was supposed to be some kind of like tree nymph because her dress looked like um, the roots of a tree. But I just pictured her with a pink dress on. <laughs> so that's what she's gonna be for me and the background is done with acrylic paint matte paint and then I, I did outline it first with black Posca and then just a little bit of white Posca in their eyes and that is it so this is my completed coloring of girl in the grove by destiny Lauritsen. My next couple colorings are in the Enchanted Faces, Mermaids, Fairies, and Fantasy Pocket Size Coloring Book by Hannah Lynn. And this is a book that I want to eventually complete. And I am in a group called Enchanted Faces Group, which is full of wonderful women. And we kind of have the same goals to eventually finish it or just to color in it. So it's very relaxed. Um, it's just at our own pace. For me, I set a goal to at least do one page a month um, until it is done. So in May, it was my turn to pick and I picked two pages just in case some of them might have already completed one of them. I did not um, color them both yet. So uh, I picked it for May and then I wasn't able to complete it then. So for June, we made it a catch up month so uh, for any anyone that had some other colorings from the previous months that want to finish it up and share it for that month they could um, so for me I finished up the two pages that I picked for me so the first one is Amanda right here and then I think we had like a little discussion about what this was I colored it as like a head wrap or earmuffs I think in Hannah Lynn's original it was just her hair as a hairstyle 
but I know, I don't know. <laughs> I like it as a head wrap. It kind of looks cute. So I based it with Ohuhu brush markers. For pencils, I use Erositon, Tombow Erositon colored pencils with the Caran Dash Luminance for her skin to smooth it out. And then for embellishments, white Posca under clouds, her eyes, pink Posca on the cherry blossoms, uh, some gold um, Sakura metallic over here and on the flowers and on the butterfly. You can see I have some stickles right here on the trim of her dress and Sakura Stardust for this area right here. Yeah, so that is Amanda. And then here is Sharla. And you can see on Sharla, I did add a lot of Sakura Stardust on her hair. And it's the same with the other one, uh, Ohuhu as a base, but with pencils, I used the Caran Dash Pablos. And for her fin um, and these little areas of the same color, I colored it in and shaded it in first. And then on top of it, I put the Kuretake Gansai Tambi Opal colors. And I think it's the reddish one or pinkish one. So I think that is it. And white Posca. And then some glitter gel pen for the border. And that is it. So that is Sharla and Amanda from Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. My next coloring is in Bottled Treasures, Mosaic Color by Number Adult Coloring Book by Alice Mills Publishing. And this is with the Premium Paper Edition. And this is my only book by Alice Mills. And I want to finish it as soon as I can. So for June, I was able to just do one, which is the Cuckoo for You. Very cute. And yeah, I don't have that much left to do. So I think I should be able to finish it in a couple months. So this again is Bottled Treasures by Alice Mills Publishing. My next coloring is in Matchstick Mouse, a floral coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. And I did a page in here as a buddy color with the lovely Judith. Let me go ahead and share her pretty coloring on this side. And yeah, we already have another um, page picked out for the next month. So thank you so much, Judith, for doing these buddy colors with me. And so for this page, I base it with a hoo hoo brush markers. I did do a little bit of uh, shading with the markers, but I did go over it again with pencils. And I used the Black Widow colored pencils. And then for embellishments, you can see the stickles on the ribbon. And then I outlined the um, rose with Sakura Stardust. I'm not sure if you can see it. But yeah, <laughs> so that is another completed page in the Matchstick Mouse Floral Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. My next coloring is in this Japanese coloring book, and this is called Wild Mouse uh, Yururi's Adventure Sketch, and it is by Makiko Inatome and my good friend Kelly. He's known as Color Journey with Kelly on Instagram. He asked if I would like to do a coloring from this very cute book, so I said yes. So let me go ahead and share with you his version of the page that we colored, and it's just so beautiful. I really love his glorious sunset and how it reflects off the water on the beach and the lighthouse and yeah just so so beautiful so thank you so much kelly for this wonderful buddy color so here let me go ahead and share with you my version of the page and i went for a more soft subtle look and i think i was just really attracted to that kind of look for a beach scene with a lighthouse because that's what I looked for on Google. I searched lighthouses, um, beach scene, and then 
saw several paintings that kind of had like these colors and that was what I was attracted to. So um, with a combination of all of those as inspiration, this is what I came up with. And so uh, first I use the Munoz Soft Pastel for the blues on the top here. And then for like the peaches, beige and cream, um, on the sky and on the sand, I use the Jean Davenport birthday suit um, pastel colors. And then for pencils, I use the Mitsubishi Uni colored pencil. I haven't used those pencils for a while, so I wanted to bring them out and use it in this book. And they worked very well. Had a lot of fun using it. I tried to reuse some of the colors, like the flower color on this one i used it on this and for the crab i did use reds from the lighthouse but um <laughs> as i was coloring the crab i was like well does red crab mean that they were cooked so let, let me go and add some blue so i added some blue so it looks a little bit purplish i didn't want it to look like a cooked crab so <laughs> yeah so this is my completed page and I tried to use the same colors for Yururi the mouse uh, I think he's he does have the green scarf but his pants is brown I made mine's more of a maroon color because that's what I used on the first um, page that I colored here it was more maroon so uh and this one I used whole vine so I kind of want to stick with the same colors that I've used already so that um it'll look uniform so yeah that is my completed coloring in Wild Mouse Yururi's Adventure Sketch by Makiko Inatomi my Next coloring is a buddy color with the lovely Amanda, who's known as Downy Amanda on Instagram. And we decided to pick the 41st page of a book uh, for her birthday. And so she picked a page from one of her books and I picked a page from the Le Grand Classique, Tome 2, the Disney Hachette Hero coloring book, color by number book. And uh, she hasn't finished hers yet. It's been a busy um, month for her, especially during the summer. So um, I did end up finishing mine. I just got so into it and ended up finishing it. So my page that I completed, which is the 40, 41st page, is of this guy, which I don't remember what his name is. I wonder if it says it in the back. No, it just says it's from Pocahontas. That I did know. My <laughs> my daughter called it the colonizer dog. But um, anyways, I just wanted to just use pencils. So the pencils I used is the Color colored pencil and the uh, Black Widow colored pencils. And then the background is done with Arteza, the kids' gel sticks that I just like blended into the background. I didn't want to color that all in. And uh, for the black outline, I used the black Posca. So yeah, that is my buddy color page. It's also the first coloring that I've done in the Le Grand Classique, Tome 2, Disney Hachette Hero Color by Number book. My next coloring is in Coloring Heaven Burlesque Special. This is issue number 69 with designs by Neil Kendall. And there was a page in here that I've been wanting to color in. Um, so I was so happy to hear that Sam Way's coloring. Uh, he's from Instagram. He was hosting his color along again this year, which I participated in last year, which is called hashtag pride man with lipstick and so when I found that out I immediately knew the page that I wanted to color in for his color along and it was of Violet Tchotchke who is the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race um, season 7 this is from 2009, uh, 2018 so yeah very happy to get this page done I did do a glitter effect on the main outfit there's just a little bit of stickles on the hat 
some sakura metallic and sakura stardust on the gloves and on the outlines of her outfit and that's pretty much it with those um mediums uh for this whole page i did want to look up the actual colors for the outfit so i did like look through several pictures and i did find uh, her outfit but that pose that she's doing in this illustration i could not find so i kind of had like to figure out where to shadow uh, the main thing that i wanted to get right is the way she does her makeup and i just yeah very happy with that so like how the blue is popping out and the white in her eye makeup the red red lips i love how it pops out so yeah i wanted to make sure that was very visible but yeah so with everything else i'm just glad i found a picture of how her outfit looked like but i didn't want to focus so much on the details so i knew immediately i'm just gonna do a glitter effect um, so for this page, I did use several markers. You can see I did use one color for her outfit. And then for the background, it started fading in here. So it did give me kind of an idea what to do on this side. So the light source was going to come on this side. So for pencils, I used Caran d'Ache Pablo's. No, no. Caran d'Ache Luminance, which was perfect to use on this um, coloring heaven paper blended very nicely and then for the glitter effect I used the Stedler double-ended uh, fiber tip uh, markers and then the Tombow dual brush markers uh, and some white uniball signo to outline some of the line work white Posca on here to give like a little uh, lace on this part of the dress white Posca on the feathers and then lots of white Posca for the white dots <laughs> on her outfit so that was dotting let it dry work somewhere else come back add more dotting and just see where I need to add more white and um, at this background part over here i really wasn't sure what i was going to do i just knew that the light source was going to be up here so i did like google um dark blue background with sprinkles or something like that and it showed a lot of bouquet stuff there was some like fireworks or something like that so i kind of like went with that so i started off with the faber castell gelatos i used i think coconut and icing icing was metallic so that's what you see i don't know if you can see it kind of like shimmering so it kind of makes it look smoky and then this all this white splatter is the dr ph martin bleed proof white and i did make sure to cover at least her face and her arm everything else i didn't worry about it um getting white splatter on and white or uh, washi tape for the border so yeah this is my first completed page in this magazine too so this went for color your hoard for june and that is my completed coloring in coloring heavens burlesque special with designs by neil kendall my last coloring to share which is also the last one that i completed in june is in the coloring heaven collection magazine called ancient egypt with illustrations by faviana Trier. and uh, when i opened this book up um or magazine up i only had like four days left um in the month of june and i was debating whether or not to go ahead and color in here and i decided to just go ahead and jump in and just color if i finished it great if i didn't it'll just be for the next month but i was very inspired by a color along on instagram that was hosted by tavorna 
and her hashtag was ancient egyptian june 23 and then it also went for poet spices color long which was hot guy summer for poet and then there was another one uh human color long and there was the it's a man in my coloring book color long by um diane dreams in color and so uh, there were several other color alongs that I was able to enter it for too. So yeah, I decided to just jump in even though I had like four days left and there were busy days with my son's um, like get together party with his friends and then my, get helping my daughter get ready for her road trip. But uh, yeah, I was so happy to get it done. Um, the background was kind of like a rush job, <laughs> but I think it turned out all right. So for this page, I did use alcohol markers for the main guy, which was the ruler of Egypt, the cats and the plants. So this is an illustration of Amenhotep. I don't know if I said that correct, but Amenhotep III, uh, he was the ninth ruler of the 18th dynasty, ruling from 1386 to 1349 BC. And I did not have a reference um, for this ruler except for the blue hat. And so I was going off like I think hieroglyphics. And so with the skin color, I, I think I was going for a little bit a lighter tan. But the pen I used um, showed up differently than what I have on uh, the Amazon paper on the amazon paper it was lighter and this color came off if you colored it like the second um over the first layer so uh, i did have to do some highlights like on the cheekbones on arms and everywhere and i didn't have like a good reference for like where to put highlights so it's a lot of guesswork especially over here I tried to look up like muscular guys to they had like these little like ridges and I don't know what they are but I kind of like try to do like a faint look on here for this part of the arm <laughs> I think I was talking to my daughter and my son at the same time they're discussing something with me and I was like well you're standing there can you like like do a this pose <laughs> so I can see how the shadows are on the arm so while they were talking to me my daughter was doing this pose and she got tired but I was like no stand there just for like a minute just so I can get the shading done but yeah <laughs> so this is from my daughter so I'm always going to remember this and then I think it was already the 30th of June I haven't finished the background so this was very quick work I just looked up um, beautiful Nile River on Google and I, I just looked up one that kind of has a background that I want to put in the back right over here uh, if you look up closely it does get a little bit like messy but I wanted to be kind of like blurry in the background so more of the focus is on uh, Amenhotep and the cat so I didn't worry so much about that I just wanted to get that done very quickly and then the sky is Munoz soft pastel and no white Posca this time no um, glitters or anything I just did not have enough time for that so yeah that is my last coloring in June. So I'm happy that I was able to get several colorings done with, in like 14 days. So it's a good thing that it was um, the end of the school year for my kids. So I was able to get a little bit more time to color. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've colored for that last half of June. And um, I will see you all in my next video. So please enjoy and have a safe summer. Take care and happy colorings, my friends. Bye-bye.